Welcome to video number three in this series where we are creating a backyard pizza ordering platform uh, for the for no reason. <laughs> but what we are doing is we are connecting uh, Vercel with Hanasura Cloud using local development to production with CICD uh, plugins integrations. And in this step, we are actually now adding the uh, type, the TypeScript version of an XJS project to our, our repository. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the uh, TypeScript enabled version from the Create uh, Next app. And I will switch back over to my uh, terminal. And I'm at the top level of my project here. I have Docker Compose uh, and I have Hasura, which we covered in video number two. And in this video, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and knit this project and I am going to give this the uh, folder name of www, which I can just append here on the end. And with that, when I run this, it will go ahead and create a Next.js project in this repository. And uh, I will go ahead and, uh, and be able to call that folder www, which is sort of a convention when it comes to mono repo-ish style projects, uh, where one of them is a web project. That is the reason why it's www. All right, uh, we're gonna give this a couple of seconds to uh, go ahead and install and deploy. And then we will just uh, create a connection to uh, Vercel and see how CICD is in place to allow changes to our project to then reflect live. Okay, all dependencies are installed. We can go ahead and run this project by navigating inside of our www folder. And we're just gonna go ahead and run yarn dev to have a quick look to make sure everything is running as we would expect. And we have a running Next.js project, fantastic. At this point, what we're gonna do is actually immediately connect this to our Vercel project through the GitHub integration. And this will allow us to have the two pieces of our CI CD deploying to our two primary platforms. In the third step, we will then create the bridge between the two of them using the, the Vercel Hasura integration. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back out to the top level, and I will go ahead and simply add all of our new changes here. We're gonna go ahead and just call this commit, adding next. And we will push these changes straight up. While that's pushing up and it's already done, we're gonna navigate over to the Vercel platform. I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna grab the Git repository here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is living inside of the www project, which you can tell is already identified as being the possible match here. Now all I'm gonna do is hit deploy here. And now we have the running Next.js project as you would expect. So what we're gonna do is uh, actually work this a little bit in a backwards approach. What I will do now is connect my Hasura Cloud to my Vercel project, and then I will use the Vercel CLI to copy down those environment variables as defined in this integration to my local project, where I will then overwrite them with my local variations of those from my local project. The integration is quite simple. We're gonna to navigate to the Hasura integration page. You can find the Hasura integration on the marketplace. I already have mine enabled here. So I will go ahead and hit configure. And with this, I'm gonna go ahead and configure a new uh, connection between these two. I'm gonna add a new uh, integration here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say add connection and I will choose the BIP project from Vercel and I will connect it to the BIP project from uh, Hasura and I will simply update those connections. And what that's gonna do is it will copy over the production GraphQL endpoint and the production uh, Hasura secret over to my Vercel variables. And that's going to allow me to have that as a secure bridge between these two cloud providers. Once those variables are living inside of Vercel and attached to this project, I will then locally tell Vercel that I want to actually copy over all of the variables from this project. I'll link them using the CLI and I will copy those variables over to my local project where I can then overwrite instead of my cloud URLs, I will update those with my local version. 
Back over at the project settings, I've gone to the environment variables here and you can see that I have in fact copied over those values from production. So I have the project endpoint, I have the public, the next public Zero project endpoint that is an XJS specific uh, framework thing to help avoid uh, exposing environment variables uh, to the front end. And then I have the admin secret. What I wanna do now is I wanna take those variables locally. And I wanna just make a quick comment here. It was amazing how fast that was to be able to connect these two together and be able to have this strong bridge. It really creates this great developer experience where I don't have to be copying variables all over the place. I can leverage these toolings to be able to keep my environment variables in sync. So what we're gonna do now is from inside of the www folder, we're going to use the Vercel CLI to link this www folder with the uh, Vercel version that we have running in the Vercel platform. So this Next.js project to the Vercel platform. And to do that, all we have to do is type in Vercel link. And we're gonna go ahead and say, uh, yes, we want to go ahead and set this up now. And what we wanna do is say, uh, go ahead and do uh, the Motley Dev account, which is my, my account. We're gonna go ahead and say, yes, link to an existing project. And we're gonna go ahead and say, what's the name of your existing project? And in this case, it is called uh, Backyard Pizza or BIP. And we'll go ahead and link that. And now it's created a configurations folder here, this dot Vercel file. It has created the, um, uh, it's added a Vercel uh, ignore to the, to the dot get ignore file. And from there, we have our changes. Let's go ahead and go to our pages file and we're gonna look at the index here. We are going to uh, go ahead and, uh, and make a change here. I've deleted everything from inside of the main tags. I'm gonna go ahead and add one new piece of content here uh, that we're just gonna go ahead and say hello. And we're gonna see if we can actually push these changes now through the GitHub CI CD. So if you're tracking again, we have uh, made a Hasura project that links to locally, that links to Hasura Cloud. We have made a Vercel project that, uh, a Next.js project that is now hosted on Vercel. Both of these are being updated via GitHub at the same time. We have also then used a integration between these two to uh, sync the environment variables from the, the Hasura Cloud project over to Vercel. And now we are back inside of our local version of Next.js and we are using the Vercel CLI to take those same naming convention files from the from the Vercel platform that we got from Hasura, <laughs> bringing it back down locally. Essentially using the developer experience tooling here to create a very strong tie between all three of these where we can actually say the Hasura cloud defines the variables that we will send over to Vercel and then our CLI locally is saying we're gonna grab an exact copy of those down locally, which we will then change in the next video uh, so that we can actually use our local version of Hasura and not our cloud reference. But what we wanted to have was the same naming convention so that everything stays consistent when we publish these live. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, check these all into repositories. So we'll go ahead and say git add all, and we're gonna go ahead and say git commit m, we'll call this connected. And we're gonna go ahead and just push this up now live. Okay, now as we can see, we have the Hasura and the www folder. Uh, at the root level of our Docker Compose here. So this is our mono repo, if you will, uh, where everything is running and all of our code is pushed up. Now, what's nice is if we go to the uh, Vercel platform now, let's go ahead and navigate there. We can see that our most recent uh, Git deploy is actually now live. So we were able to push those changes up and we can see that we have the word hello. So every time we make changes to the Vercel project or the Next.js project, it will actually I mean, push those to GitHub, it will automatically deploy to Vercel. And if we go look at our dashboard for uh, Hasura here, if we come down to our recent deploys on the project, we'll see that we also have recent deployment uh, here as well. We can see that uh, it's, uh, it's deploying here still as well. But there was no changes there, so this will go through uh, just fine. Uh, this would be a case where now we could actually talk about switching off the manual versus the automatic deploys. I'm not gonna worry about that for right now, but this would be a case where maybe you could say, we don't need to have a, a deploy every time here, or we wanna introduce some other logic that would trigger this deploy at that time. So we have this product set up. We have Vercel pushing to Vercel. We have Hasura pushing to Hasura. We have the bridge between the two of them. And in the next video, we're gonna actually now connect these with these environment variables to be able to fetch data about pizzas from our uh, Hasura database or Hasura project into our Next.js project 
And uh, so in the next step, we're gonna now actually write some code that will fetch content from this Hasura project into the Next.js project. We'll deploy those changes and see how that all works. Catch you in the next video.